So I'm still getting used to the widescreen on the webcam, but still. I want to show you guys my stuffed monkey that my boyfriend gave me. It has a belly button, if you can see that. Look at the feet. It's so awesome, and look at the tail. But that's not the reason why I'm making this video. Um, I actually wanted to do a mu movie review on Step Up 3D, and it is amazing. I've been a dancer half my life, and for those of you that know me very well, um, I was really excited about this movie to begin with, and because I, I was oh so stoked because John and and she has been directing the movies from the very beginning, and it's you, you know I I don't really I don't take dance classes I I kind of imitate and try to take to my own, and it works really fucking well, um, and the storyline goes is that Moose from the second movie uh, Adam Savani. Uh, goes to New York and he doesn't want to dance anymore, which is the stupidest idea for it. Um, and slowly but surely, he f he goes into Central Park and he does this little dance battle with somebody else uh, from the House of Samurai. And uh, there's this whole thing where you know he does his battle and then this other guy sees him and in, in loop this kid finds him and, and brings him to his house. Uh, this warehouse called House Pirates, and it's a layout's ridiculous. There's, there's so many different. I'm not going to give too much away of this movie because I want you guys to go see this. As for the dance sequences, because we all know when it comes to Step Up, the storyline shit. With the exception of the first movie, the storyline shit. I'll be the first to admit it. I am a hopeless romantic, but when it comes to the storyline of these movies, they're a complete shit. I go for the dance. And I go for the moves that are being performed. And the dance sequences are awesome. They're insane. And it's... What was it? Hold on. Um, and I saw it in 3D for Nikki's birthday. It, it, it blows your mind. It, you know, the equipment that was being used and... Uh, the camaraderie, you know, it, dancing is, dancing in general is, it can be a way of life, it's a great way to express yourself, and it's, as corny as it sounds, it's, I, you're born through a boombox or you're not, that's one of the lines from the movie, um, I think, the fact that you, you have to see this movie in 3D, because you will not appreciate the dance, if you don't see it in 3D, and the 3D and the dance go so well hand in hand, I was kind of shocked. Um, I figured I'd give it a shot and see it in 3D, and I was pleasantly surprised. You will be entertained the whole time of this movie. And the best part about this is, Alison Stoner, who's from the first one, a little fucking 11 year old, is now like 19, 20, gorgeous girl, is in the movie and still knows how to dance, still does it very well, and... Oh, and some some kids from the SMA cr crew are um, dancing in the second movie towards the end, and the new crew is dancing as well. It's it's so awesome. It is so awesome. And Adam Savani, I the kid has a horse face. I'm not gonna lie, that kid is ugly. But what he lacks for in good looks, he makes up for in charm and um personality and dancing that he is I I have to throw it up to this kid for a little white boy he can I, I was always impressed with Allison Stoner but the Adam Savani blew me away I've seen the dance battle he did between um Miley Cyrus and uh you know, him and Miley Cyrus with the Jamin Chu and and Miley and Mandy it was the most amazing thing I've ever seen. The kid is so talented, I have to throw it up to him. I would love to learn from him. Um, so far as I'm concerned, this is definitely a movie you want to see in the theaters, uh, and, and definitely one to own when it comes out. Um, I'm planning on owning all three. You need to see this movie. It's amazing. I cannot... Excuse me. I cannot put it more into words of how awesome the movie is. Um, I was blown away. I was blown. There's one guy, though, that really pissed me off. 
and he plays uh, a Haitian man, I believe, or a French man, one of the, but there's a French quarter in, ha in Haiti as well, but I'm not really sure where it's from. And he has a stone face the whole time. There's no emotion coming out of his fucking mouth, out of his fucking face. I wanted to, like, did you take theater class? Use what you have. Use your emotion. That's the whole point of acting. To use what you have inside of you and bring it to the surface. But I digress. Um, that's my only pet peeve. But other than that, go see this movie. I'm not even kidding you. Go see it. Uh, although, I'm, if, if you're a dancer and a male, you may not enjoy the storyline, like I said. Because I didn't enjoy the storyline, but you will enjoy the dancing. If you're a guy bringing your girlfriend to this movie... Can you give me two minutes? I'm, I'm making a review for uh, Step Up. I'm I kind of... Let me call you right back. Bye! Sorry, my little sister. Um, anyway, uh, if you're a guy and bringing your girlfriend to this movie, um, and you're not into any of that shit, you are a good man to sit through this, because it's not... I give props to Alex Bove to sitting there with his girlfriend going, no. No, I, I don't like this, but it was it was good. It was a good movie. Go see it. I gotta go. Love you guys a long time. Mwah. Peace.